Today I'm gonna to show you how to get better waystones and how to sort through your waystones really quickly. So let's jump right into it. What I've done to prepare for this video is I've created a waystone dump and I've just dumped a bunch of waystones in here that I've picked up over the last couple of maps or, you know, bunch of maps. And I'm going to modify all of these waystones and then I'm gonna use a search function to find the waystones that I wanna run. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bunch of orbs of alchemy and orbs of transmutation and regal orbs out of my inventory. And I'm also gonna get a couple stacks of Val orbs just in case I wanna Val some. The first thing I'm gonna do is click on my, right click on my orb of transmutation and I'm gonna hold the shift key. And all of the things that just lit up in my waystone pile, those are all waystones that can have an orb of transmutation put on them. So I'm just gonna go through and click all of these waystones. And, or you can just wildly spam um, like this. It's not too difficult. Uh, it looks a lot more daunting than it really is because once you go through it, you know, they go away and then it becomes much more evident um, which ones need it. And, you know, worst case scenario, you miss one or two and it's not the end of the world. You'll notice later. OK, so it looks like. Yeah. Um, Somebody in the video right now staring at this going, oh, it's right there. Are you blind? And I'm, I, I, I guess I am because I can't see it. So now I'm going to take our next stone and orb of augmentation and I'm going to hit all these waystones again. And this is going to give all of my waystones a second modifier. So just in case you didn't know, um, the first orb I used on this, the orb of transmutation, uh, turned it from a white map to a to a blue map that has one modifier. And it'll and the first one will either give it a prefix or a suffix. And now the second stone is actually going to give it a um. Uh, the opposite. So if it got a suffix before, it'll get a prefix. If it got a prefix, it'll get a suffix. Um, the prefixes are generally the good things like prefixes are where rarity come from. And so for this video, we're actually going to be looking at rarity. So I'm going to be searching for all of my waystones that have rarity included in them. Um, something else that's really good, like really good modifiers on waystones are increased rarity. Increased quantity of drops is pretty good. Um, also, increased rarity or increased rare monsters is really good. Um, so increasing the rare monsters on your maps are really good. And now I'm going to go through with my regal orbs and pretty much every map needs to be regaled. So we're just going to click on all these. OK, there we go. We got all of our maps regaled. OK, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch to my display and I'm going to show you a really fun website. So this website is poe 2re slash vendor. And uh, this is regex, uh, regex, which I'm not going to pretend to know what regex means, um, but it's like the how you can find certain things. So these are these are like vendor codes. If you played POE one, you could put like vendor codes in to find specific items like, oh, hey, I only want to see items with movement speed on them. This is how you could quickly find those uh, movement speed shoes. And you can still use this on vendors. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click inc increase the rarity and we're going to see that the code is actually quotation D space R A R I and then close and then close parentheses. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into the game and right down here where it says highlight items. Let me make sure I'm not hiding it with my face. So right down here where it says highlight items, I'm actually going to put in that code. So now every single map that's highlighted right now has increased rarity on it. So increased rarity is really important right now because it affects it affects um, uh, currency drop chance or current like how good your currency could be. So every single one of these maps. Now I have a tier 10 with plus 55 rarity. I have 58 percent rarity, 15 uh, percent or that was a really low one, 21 percent increased rarity. But the point is, I want all of these maps that have rarity on them and I want to separate them from every other map in my. Um, I like to separate them into their own tab and then order them by what they uh, what they do. So now I go to my rarity tab. You'll see all my maps in my rarity tab all have rarity on them. And then I, you know, I just kind of put the 10s together, the 11s together, the 12s together. And these are the maps that I'll use on my good nodes or nodes that I want to get a lot out of. And depending on how many I get, sometimes I'll have so many of these rarity maps that I actually won't. Um, I'll use them on like kind of bullcrap nodes, too. But in general, this is these are the maps I'm going to be using on my really good maps, like my juiced up nodes. So I just really wanted to quickly show you how you could quickly get a bunch of rarity maps and how you could use the regex for your vendor or for uh, you could use it for vendors, too. But I'm going to link this website down below. 
this is how you find rarity maps really quickly. This is how you create your rarity maps really quickly. And then all of the other maps that aren't rare, it's your choice whether you want to go through them and, um, you know, like get rid of them or just hold on to them for like, you know, nodes that don't matter. I'll hold on to a lot of the lower level, like 10 ones for like just nodes that I don't care about. I just want to spam through. But it's getting to the point that I have so many better waystones that I might do 12s and 13s on those two um, or Sometimes I even do 15s or 14s on them just for fun. There's also a waystone tab here where you can just put minimum tier. So you can say like, I only want tier 15 maps, you know, it'll say tier 15 or you could say, hey, I only want um, I only want maps that are tier 13 and above. And then also I want it to be the uh, rarity, which you could add in um, the rarity thing, too. So I could just go here and I could type this in and it would say that and then. Uh, it was D space R I R space. So now it's now it's only showing me maps with rarity that are above, um, you know, tier tier 13. Wait, what did I put here? Yeah, I put tier 13 to 15. So now it's only showing me tier 13 to 15 rarity maps. And I could have done that in my waste zone dump, too. And you can see I've already, you know, of course, you know, I've already taken all my rarity maps out of there, but I'll put a couple back in just so we can see. See, it won't show me the lower tier ones that aren't that are rarity, it'll only show me the tier 14 that's rarity. So that's another way of doing it. Um, you could just, uh, you could also put the um, the rarity, you know? And then there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with this too. Uh, you can take it to a normal vendor, like all the normal vendors around the world, and you can say, I'm, I'm looking for, I want uh, shoes, I want them to be magic, and I want them to have 30% movement speed. You could copy this, and this is now the code if you take this to vendors around the world, like uh, there's a vendor in my right here, blood priestess, buy or sell items. And I don't, she, and if I type this in here, it'll show me only mo all, all of these boots. Um, Sorry, sorry, sorry. I only want the movement speed. I don't want, um, so you'll see it shows me, oh, none of these boots have 30% movement speed. But I could actually do 15% and above and type that in here and still none of them have 15% or above movement speed. And if you look at all the shoes, you'll see that that is true. So that's another way that you could um, you can use this uh, regex website. But I just wanted to show you today how to make rarity maps pretty quickly. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.